Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today I'm doing the 54321 book challenge. I was tagged to do this by the sweet and lovely Lindsay from BFCG. Link to her video down below. She tagged me to do this if I had the time and Lindsay, I always have time to do all the tags. I, I make time to do the tags. But yeah, there's only five prompts and I like the questions, so let's get straight into it. Five latest five star reads or five books I love. I think I'm going to do the five latest five star reads. So I'm going to go on Goodreads and look through all the books I read and just go through the five most recent ones. I haven't read that many five star books this year and most of the ones that I have are from a series. So I'll only pick one book from the series. And then so some of the five stars that I mentioned might be from last year even. Um, I just haven't really had great luck with five star reads this year. Oh, so the most recent five star book is A Bride for Donegan by Jeanette Oak. Uh, I love Jeanette Oak. They're very like usually more slow paced, chill, kind of just everyday life sort of, um, you know, on the frontier or whatever kind of books. A Bride for Donegan is a mail order bride story, which I'm like super into. It's a very sweet story. I like that one a lot. The next five star would be Air of Hope by Morgan L. Bussey. This is book three in a fantasy trilogy. I enjoyed the whole series but by the time I got to book three I had become like really attached and invested in the characters so that was the only one out of the series that I gave five stars. Um, but it's a good one if you're into Christian fantasy, you should definitely check that one out. And then we come to the series I was talking about. So I guess I'm just going to go with book one, which is Dare. This series is um, The Blades of Actar by Trisha Mingrink. And this is another uh, fantasy Christian series. But this is like medieval, non-magical fantasy. It's a very good series. I like it a lot. Um, I would say especially if you're a fan of like the Ilion Chronicles. It is pretty similar in a lot of ways, um, so if you like that one, you'll probably like this one too. Um, it's very good. I like it a lot. And then we have Stealing the Preacher by Karen Wittemeyer. I've talked about this book a lot, but I love it so, so much. This is, it, this isn't a series, but the books can be read as standalones. It's like every book is about a brother. So yeah, if you like historical, like Western romances, I would highly recommend this one. I thought it was, it was really cute, really sweet, and it had really good faith content in it. So I liked it a lot. And then number five is The Reckoning at Gossamer Pond by Jamie Jo Wright. This is a dual timeline um, Christian suspense. Um, all of Jamie Jo Wright's books are like this, by the way. One timeline is set in present day, and then there's one that's usually like about 100 years prior. And then the mysteries and the stories are like interconnected, you know? And they are suspense. They are more on the creepy side. Some books are creepier than others. I've read several of her books, but this one has been my favorite so far. It was really good. So if you're looking for like spooky vibe, like suspense novels, and you like dual timeline, I would highly recommend her books. Um, this book was really, really good. I liked it a lot. It was very interesting. All right, next prompt is four auto by authors. So I do have a few. One of them would definitely be Erin Mangum. Um, another one would be pretty much Morgan L. Bussey, Nadine Brandes, J.L. Knight, which she doesn't really come out with that much stuff very often. Like, it's been a long time since her last book, but still, like, whenever she does, like, I'm buying it. Three genres I'm loving. <sighs> well, I, I enjoy all genres um, at different times. I tend to kind of go through, like, phases of reading a certain thing a lot, and then I move on to something else. So... <sighs> I'm not really sure if I have three that I'm like currently loving right now. Um, definitely fantasy. I'm pretty much always in a fantasy mood. Like it's very rare for me not to be super loving fantasy. And I would also say like I've been reading a lot of historical lately. Like a lot. Especially a lot of Jeanette Oak. And since I have to pick a third one, I think I'm just going to say contemporary romance because... I have been reading a lot of Christian contemporary romance. Really just this year in general, that was one of my goals for 2022 was to read more contemporary romance and to try out new authors. And I think I've done really well with that. Some of the authors like I've been reading are like Becky Wade, Liz Johnson, Melissa Ferguson, who may or may not be a new favorite author. 
I read one of her books and I really really liked it meet me in the margins and I'm like super excited to read her other stuff and if I love her other stuff as much as I liked that book she could be a new favorite so we'll just have to wait and see how that plays out but yeah those are some of the authors and there's been others too so yeah I would say those three would be ones that I've been into lately next is two places I love to read well when the weather is nice I really enjoy reading outside um, but the weather hasn't been so nice lately. It's been very hot and it has been really rainy, especially like in the evenings. So when the outside is not available and not a good time, I usually read on the couch in the living room or sitting on my bed. Those are the two places I can be found reading the most. And then lastly, see how quick that was? One book I promise to read soon. So I have a book for this. For this one, I am going with Why Grace Changes Everything by Chuck Smith. This is a book that I'm borrowing from my dad. Um, it is a nonfiction. One of my goals for 2022 is to read five nonfiction books, and I'm not doing very well on that one. I've only read one so far, and I'm a little over halfway through another one, but I've been working on that one for like six months at least so you know not great and he said my dad that this was one of the best books that he's ever read and that he plans on reading it again and maybe again so I thought that I should give it a try because it's not super thick um, it's less than 200 pages 175 and he said it was so good my mom read it she said it was good so yeah I'm gonna try to read this one and I would like to start it really soon because I didn't accomplish the five nonfiction book goal last year, so like I really want to do that this year. I'm trying to read more Christian nonfiction because I think it's good for me. So yeah, I'm going to try to read this one. I'll just read you like the back summary in case you're curious really quick. Grace, it's a word we all love to hear, but do we really know what it means? Without it, our lives are dry and dusty, but when grace comes, it transforms our lives into something rich and beautiful. With remarkable insight gleaned from his own life, Pastor Chuck Smith unfolds the mystery of grace and reveals a surprising truth. We can never grow in grace by our own efforts. True grace flows from the heart of the Father through the love of Jesus Christ. To know that God is for you, that he loves you, is the greatest source of security you will ever know. That is grace, and that is what makes life worth living. So yes, I think this will be a good book. I think it will be encouraging and I think I will learn something from it and I think it will be a good one. So I just have to like make myself start it. So that's all the prompts and now it says to tag three people if you want. It's hard when you have a limited number of people to tag because there's so many people that I could tag and... I don't know like who would enjoy this tag the most but I've been following some new uh, booktubers recently so I'm gonna pick three of them to tag so the first person is Sam from the book bunch second person is Bethany from Bethany brings books and then thirdly is Bailey from Bailey's bookshelf there's so many more people that I want to tag but I'll have to save y'all for future tags because I'm only supposed to pick three and I can't let this get out of control and pick like 20 people like I want to. So, yes, I tag you guys. Um, if you want to do it, no pressure. Obviously, just do it if it seems fun to you and you want to and you have the time. For those of you that don't have a booktube channel, you can answer these prompts down in the comments below. I'd love to see your answers to these. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.